And that'll set him back five. And what is going on here? I've got third down. Screen shows third down, but they've got the punt team out there. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he will not get the first, but since they bizarrely went for it on third down, it'll now set up a fourth down situation. It's such a risky play there to fake it. You're either the hero or the goat. Here, they're going to be the goat. Unfortunate, too, because you know they thought they had something there. They don't call it just to call it. They don't just say, oh, what the heck, let's go ahead and fake it here. They feel like they've got something on. They've got the defense in the right spot. Just unsuccessful in that opportunity. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on to punt for L.A. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And now out come the Steelers. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily that you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Back now in Pittsburgh. It's the Steelers with the football, but trailing here as we get going in quarter number four. going to get a timeout here called by the defense. That will be their third and final stoppage as they'll only have the two-minute warning now remaining. Just shy of the 20. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. And they'll keep it on the ground with Bell. And he'll be taken down just shy of the 40. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. And that's another stop for the defense, something we've seen all game long. They have been on fire today. No matter what's called by the offense, they've had an answer for it. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. It'll be a gain of nine, and that's going to lead to a third down. Now that's often a surprise for the defensive guys when they see the big fella slide out of the backfield and catch the ball. Not something they usually go over in practice very often. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. The Steelers picking up 15 yards there at a first down. Something out. He's run the ball really well. Done all the things that you want in a game plan, but unable to convert it into points. Unable to ring the bell consistently enough to make it a winning effort. Jumping all the way from the outside, maybe getting a little early start in the corner blitz. And the only time it makes sense to get that penalty is exactly as you described. Otherwise, he should never get that penalty. After the penalty, it's Bell. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And it's a second down. The 
A give to the fullback on the dive. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll be third and ten. Free play now for Roethlisberger. And he finds McDonald. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. So offsides the call, and they understandably decline it. And this is why we're seeing more and more teams hiring that one coach to the staff. That's minor. It's pr pretty easy to figure out. But all the game management stuff, trying to help out the head coach in his decision-making process. They'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger. Over the middle here to Brown. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. And it's caught. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. In to throw again. And now here is another interception. John Johnson with the INT. He's at the 50. The 30. Past the 20. And he will bring it back. It's an interception return for a Rams touchdown. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well-prepared. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. First and ten, it's Roethlisberger. It's complete to Brown, right side. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right in midfield at the 50. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. From midfield now, here's Roethlisberger. Got a man, it's Brown. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Roethlisberger hooking up with Brown to get the Steelers a first. Time for a break. Back to finish it off on EA Sports after this. So here we go, first and ten now. They'll try a little trickery here on the end around. He doesn't find a ton of space following the display of quick feet down just inside the 45. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Second down, nine yards to go. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. Over the middle complete, it's James. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Third 
Third and two. Now Roethlisberger. And James has it. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Roethlisberger to his big target, James. All six, seven of him for a Steeler first down. Throwing now. Roethlisberger on first down. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No, no pick, just incomplete that time. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. To throw again is Roethlisberger. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's James. And now prior to this third and one, we're going to get a timeout here. As he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. And the Steelers on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Throwing again, it's Roethlisberger. Now a desperation throw deep. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Kayvon Webster. And a great return as they're finally able to take him down. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sidelines, I don't know if it's the offense coordinator, the quarterback's coach, maybe the backup quarterback, that's who he needs to get with now and get himself calm. And he's going to be taken down right at about the 15-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it. Because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 14-yard line. It's a loss of two. Now third down. And the storyline of this one, Charles, no doubt the number zero. Zilch, nada. A shutout so hard to do in the NFL. It really is, and what an accomplishment because you feel that not just on the defensive side, but as a full team. There's a lot of pride that goes into shutting out an opponent. And how about that zero on the scoreboard for them going along with those zeros in the time column, too?